I need to clean my closet. My delightful closet is a literal living hell. It's wonderful. It has wonderful contents. It's beloved clothes, but it's just It's not sparking any joy I bought this top thinking I was some sort of Instagram baddie or something Lesson learned. I am not an Instagram baddie You raise your arm one inch above your shoulders and your whole boob is out. Whoever made this shirt hated bras I just don't think I have the body for two top. This shirt's really cute, but I don't know, I just don't wear red that much. No support whatsoever here. Obviously, you need to wear a strapless bra with this, but I feel like for this shirt, it's like, the one thing I don't like is that it keeps falling off the shoulder here. I feel like a fashionable zombie. Whoever wants to buy this, I'll be praying for you. Big tablecloth vibes coming out from this shirt. I feel like a doily. Is that what's called? A dolly? A doily? Doily. The way that, oh. I am so constricted. I feel like Superman. Like if I just uh, do this hard enough, my freaking shirt will burst open. Uh, but I think I've definitely grown out of this lingerie phase. And um, we're moving on to something a bit less revealing and a bit more socially acceptable. Are we liking the sheer moment or is the frillings um, a bit much? That's a bit too edgy for me. It gives me like goth vibes, you know? It's it's just not really up my alley. Practicality level, negative 10. And it's cute, it's cute. I originally got it because of this like vintage -y vibe that we got going on, but I just never wear it. I was literally so obsessed with like lingerie as part of the Y2K trend. Every single thrift store I went to, the first place I would look is the freaking lingerie section. I am a firm believer that thrift stores are the best places to get tank tops. Um, but one thing is that don't get tank top from the kids section because their shoulders and armholes are a lot smaller than you think. This is cute, but it's essentially just a sports bra without any support. The reason that I never ever buy lace is that unless it's made by a hundred blind nuns in Italy, it's gonna look cheap. And um, this is no exception. I got this from Urban Outfitters. Uh, still part of the colorful Y2K trend we got going on and um, yeah, I never worn this once. I feel like a rag doll. The problem lies in the fact that you literally need a whole orchestra of birds to tie all the strings in the back for you and your girl just doesn't have that on hand. So I have never worn this top. I'm not Cinderella. I feel like I can attend a baby pageant. I see so many girls wear mesh tops and they look so good, but I just never know what bras to wear under mesh tops. So it just ends up looking, looking a bit strange. I got this scarf in the parade PR haul. Okay, so I got this like matching skirt and top set from Yes Style, and I actually really like it, but there's just a few things about both the items that just make it not wearable. There's only one button on this shirt and it's like super low here. So like you can basically see like my boobies. The skirt is kind of really long. Yeah, like I usually wear skirts that are like fingertip length or shorter. So right now it's just like, if it was like this, it would be cuter. Okay, can we take a minute and talk about wearing tops like these as an Asian person? I have always avoided buying or wearing tops like these or anything resembling to anything that could be fetishized or just what white people would call oriental. So um, yeah, I think I definitely have a dilemma of wearing this. Like even looking at myself now, I don't even know if it looks good. You know, I feel weird. I feel like I'm just coming out and saying I'm Asian. And I honestly hate jeans with like five buttons because especially with long nails, it takes me five minutes to button one button. So we're just gonna hold it like this. I feel like a snow angel. I think one thing that I have learned is I really don't like anything that's too patterny or too loud. I think I definitely more like the more minimalistic style of clothing and just like the basics. So I guess from now on while going shopping, I'll know like not to buy stuff like this because I won't wear it and I'll just like sit in the back of my closet after like one wear. <laughs> this skirt is actually so freaking cute, but I literally just never figured out how to style it.
as you can tell i have a bit of an obsession with outerwear i don't know when it started but now i'm just drowning in leather jackets and blazers i just feel like they're so versatile like they're really simple but just does so much for an outfit so this is basically my collection i can't bear to get rid of any of these because these are my actual babies but it's not that bad because I just hang them all up on a clothing rack outside of my closet, so it kind of just eliminates the clutter there. So after sorting out all my clothes, it was time to organize everything. This part is just so relaxing to wash because it's just satisfying to see my closet shrink down. But I just loosely organize categories for tank tops, short sleeves, and long sleeves. I try to keep my categories realistic because if I do like intense color coding shit, it's only going to last a couple of days and then it's going to turn into a hot mess again. The messiest part was my shelves. I used my actual drawers as just like junk storage areas. So I basically stuffed all my t-shirts and sweatpants and skirts into these three shelves. But but I decided to clear out a drawer underneath my bed for all my active wear and then another one for like extra sheets and pillowcases so with the extra room in my closet I could better organize things like my sock and underwear bins obviously the most exciting thing about your wardrobe after my closet was organized I uploaded everything I was gonna sell on Depop and packed them all in a box and everything else I put in a trash bag and donated it to a woman's shelter now, this is the final closet tour. It's nothing special. She's no beauty or anything, you know. She's not going to win the next Miss USA, but she gets the job done, and, and that's all that matters. But I really hope that you guys enjoy this video, and let me know what you guys need to get rid of in your closet. And I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!